What's up everyone, Tiki here. Before we get into the show, I need to ask you guys for a quick favor. Please take a minute to give us a review on any platform you listen to the show on, especially iTunes. Please guys, it really goes a long way and it helps to keep the lights on. Seriously guys, thank you for that. Uh, I, I can't say it any other way. It's a massive, massive uh, help for the show. Um, all right, that's it. Let's get into the show. <laughs> Warming up. You, you're warming up. No, heating up. I'm definitely heating up. I don't up, heat up, right? Joe. You don't Once heat I hit up? that shot, already on fire. You, you, you never be, you never I'm been, always. You've never, been, always, warm. You've never been warm. I'm always heating up. You've never been up. warm. I'm let always heating up. That Hot. one shot that goes in, lukewarm. on fire. You've been lukewarm. Yeah, lukewarm. Bubbling, best. Boiling. Lukewarm. Yeah, right, dude. On fire. Tss. I'm on fire. <laughs> yeah. Up With in the here. Side <laughs> With the side effects. Uh, what up, everyone? We in here, 223 PFC, Podcast FC show. Yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, I realized something, guys. We don't introduce ourselves, and we pick up listeners all the time. No one knows who the hell anyone is. I'm Tiki. I'm Tom. I'm Hussy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Al. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I'm Hussy, and that was Al. Uh, you guys just confuse everyone. Well done. That's good. <laughs> that was all Al. <laughs> um, all right, let's get into the, the big game of the weekend. Probably the biggest... Uh, Controversial, the most controversial team uh, in the Premier League right now. How so? Uh, man, they got a manager who's been there a little bit too long, some would say. Dracula? But <laughs> this team responds. We get epic news that one of their star players for the last couple of years is leaving, going to direct rival a la Van Persie. So what club are we talking about here? We're talking about Orsino, Orsino, Orsino. Arsenal, oh. Arsenal, Arsenal, Arsenal. <laughs> Keep it going. Man. Arsenal 4 1 smacking Al's boys, the Eagles. Sit down, you Eagles. Fly high, Eagles. Oh, fly low. But actually. when it comes down to it, when you said it was Arsenal's best play, that's an understatement because we also have to talk about how Sanchez, he was not just. Uh, Why can't we talk Ars- about the performance? No, no, no real quick. Oh, it wasn't just Arsenal's best Sanchez. But consistently, for the last few years, he's been top three best players in England. Top ten player in the world. Whoa. <laughs> Debatable. <laughs> Whoa. Debatable. Yeah. Hey, if you top three in England, <clears throat> bro, chances are you're top ten in the world. So well, we'll thanks talk, for admitting what that. About, what about Spain? Yeah, I was gonna Spain. say just <laughs> Spain, Madrid and Barcelona. Yeah, teams, yeah. There, was, <laughs> there was like there's like three. There's like maybe three PSG and, four. and uh, Bayern. Uh, Bayern. Yeah. Yeah. There's like two maybe Juventus in once in a while yeah, when they show up. It's like how you ration it out. It's how you ration it. Out. But either way, look, man, Arsenal, Arsene Wenger. <clears throat> People say that he's inflexible. I I still think he is. But a good sign, a great sign, Arsenal going back to the 4-3-3 in this game. We know previously been copying and pasting Antonio Conte's 3-4-3. Hasn't been quite working out. Doesn't work for him either, Conte, well, to it be doesn't, honest. It doesn't work when you don't have beasts at center back and a beast at in the middle of the park at the sure. 6 or the 8 position. Right? So... Um, the previous game playing Rob Holding and Callum Chambers, who do have good chemistry, but sticking Mustafi in there, that's why you know we got exposed against a Bournemouth. But in this game, going back to a solid base, 4-3-3, love to see Koscielny coming back from injury, um, Nacho Monreal. So, like, the actual A, not, I want to say A, but the starting defenders were back in the Arsenal lineup. And there was a lot less drama, I believe, because of the Alexi Sanchez deal has gone through. We know him to be going to Manchester United, going for the money, Alexis. Uh, money, yeah, man. Just yeah, going, going, for, for the money. going for money or glory? Going for uh, the money. Come on. Glory, glory. Come on. He was going to the glory, glory boys for a reason. He was going reason, for dude. money because he would, he would have re-signed with Arsenal if they gave him that contract. No, no yes, way, no. man. No There's way. no chance, dude. He was unhappy at Arsenal because of the lack of ambition, because of bringing in talent. That's and why and we wouldn't pay him as well. But it all started out because of the money. I don't, I don't think, think so. It came yes. out because, dude, they're, out, they're outside Champions League last year. Yeah. It's going to happen again this year. What kind of player who is borderline top 10 in the world can and, stay at a club like and that? And Sanchez. Uh, I'm, not saying it's not, I'm not saying money doesn't have, a, have an impact on this because yeah. he's, he's going get, to get like 400000 a week. 
in pounds, uh, reportedly. Because if it was about the trophies, you went to Man City and dropped the wages. No, the Man City wouldn't pay. Man City wouldn't pay. No, and there's no, there's no proof of trophies at Man City yet. Uh, Man United is still living off. Dude, there's no proof of trophies yet. You know what? Uh, it's coming. I'm it's ready. Coming. There's I'm, no proof no. of the day, in, uh, the present day United. Hundred percent agreed. <laughs> so if you had let me finish, I would have got there and said United is still trading on the glory of Alex Ferguson. When you look at that pale blue shitty man city jersey and you look at that bright vibrant red jersey people oh, wow. still people no still, bias there listen no no look at the valuations in the world man united is still the most valuable and supported club in the world besides you know barca and real madrid it's top thing including chile including, chili, including chili, pale chili. blue to what? vibrant red dude wow. it's real blood soft I mean, blue they couldn't even decide on a blue blood. they had to pick a faded blue but what i'm saying is united is still trading on reputation hus so when you say man city for the trophies you don't know where this pro Project and is is gonna go. I think he would have loved to work with Pep Guardiola, especially them again, both being two Spanish speaking, worked together at Barcelona when he was growing up. I think United got lucky here in that City didn't want to get into a bidding war for this player because United would have lost. United is just going for all of Man City's targets. It's hilarious. There's another That's what guy, France Siri, plays for um, OGC Nice. Yep. And Man City, Sorry, the try, black dude, yeah, right? The yeah, they've been trying to yeah. replace, you know, get another center midfielder nice. to, to bring in Fernand, you know, in case Fernandinho goes down. Well, all of a sudden, Man U's interested in him. So now City's looking at Fred of Shakhtar, um, not the bum Fred who did <laughs> nothing for the Brazilian uh, Not the number nine team. Fred, yeah. No, not, the na- not that dude. Um, but look, man, I like this move. I, I, um, I, I like how Arsenal played in this game. Jack Wilshere, Mesut Ozil, and Alex Iwobi were absolutely amazing this game. Awobi answering his critics. Yeah, we know he had some um, some sort of uh, involved in some controversy about partying the game before an FA Cup match. Look, he bounces back, gets himself a goal. And um, mm-hmm. it was also good. I was happy for Hector Bellerin, who made his 150th professional appearance as well. So all in all, I'm not... Uh, I'm happy. But here comes the not... sil- silver lining. Here it yeah, moral there, victory. There here lining. it comes. Because we still need to see Mkhitaryan come over from Manchester United and we still need to see Obama Yang as well Alleg- come over from Look, dude, reportedly Dortmund. there's been no bids by Arsenal to, to <coughs> yet you know reports yeah. there's been no Terms bids for Obama Yang I don't know yeah. it was, um, they've been agreed I've heard both sides of this story yeah I think the update is that Arsenal offered 44 million pounds Dortmund rejected that first offer so since then it's 44? been a bit of rail, uh, oh, radio so sounds well it's low because Obama Yang is a head case um, and he's been suspended multiple times this season uh, during one of the training camps where it's usually only players go and obviously staff, um, he brought his father and his brother to the team hotel. He didn't even, you know, this guy's a millionaire. He didn't keep him, you know, a mile down the road and sneak out and go see them. He brought them to the team hotel. So when everyone showed up, who had left their wives and kids and loved ones at home, Bar- Obama Yang brought his family. He goes on Instagram wearing uh, Dortmund gear. Some uh, freestyler comes through to like Dortmund training. He does some video with him. Dortmund's like, no, that's against your contract. I don't know what the terms were, but it's against like media stuff, or like media pre- appearances have to be They're run through Dortmund. Crap. Yeah. No, it's not. It's 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 both ways. They're basically saying you're by not playing book. by the rules. Mm-hmm. He's saying book. you motherfucker should have sold me two seasons ago. You overpriced me. That's why no one came for me. So he's doing that approach of a bit of like Sadu Berahino, if you guys even remember that guy. Nope, uh, I he's remember. So him. faded. Uh, killed his career. So he's playing that dangerous game of crossing that line a bit, and he was so, suspended this weekend. He's so good. That's the difference. He's <laughs> so good, and he's been proven. So we'll see how it goes. They say there's a bit, uh, that first bid, nothing since then. Uh, but just a quick update on the Sanchez story. Officially showed up at United uh, training facilities on Sunday morning to undergo a uh, fitness test and a medical. So Hope you fail that looks medical. looks like this one's more and more legit. Even if he failed, they would sign him, I think. Pull that Lua Gremi. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but, but the, oh. the the Obama <laughs> bang um, connection with Mkhitaryan, if Mkhitaryan does go the other way in a make weight deal, that could be that could prove. Well, I mean, I, I think he'd be a good fit for Arsenal. Uh, Ooh, Mkhit- Mkhit- Mkhitaryan. Yep. I've heard other people criticize that comment. They wouldn't fit the system. He he fits no system according to Tom. Ah, dude. But dude, this guy this guy's a fluid player, and the way Arsenal played without Sanchez, with other distractions on the weekend, that's how they play. That's Arsenal football. No, was, was it the third goal, the build-up, you know, one, two touch outside the box? That's the old Arsenal that we, that I don't like to see. That fourth goal, the, with like a Zet. Yeah, the fourth it. goal. Yeah, yeah, that was beautiful nice. goal, beautiful uh, telepathy. And that, that was, was that was Lacazette's uh, first goal in nine games as well. 
Um, so and he got a full, he got a full 90. Him. Yeah, it's good to see him getting a full 90, getting a goal as well, man. He'd been a little bit cold, especially since Arsenal will be facing Chelsea um, in the semifinals of the League Cup on Wednesday again. So I think this really has um, just kind of put people, set people straight a little bit. Like everyone knows where they stand in the Arsenal locker room for now as far as Alexis is out. And yeah. this is how we're moving forward. Except there's still a bit of saga. It looks like it's quietening down with Ozil. Um, at the very least, it looks like he won't go anywhere in January. He could still go at the end of the season, but that's a good sign for Arsenal fans. And Wilshire, a guy who's going under the radar, basically, I think he's going under the radar because he's been injured for the last three, four seasons. No one really knows his value to Arsenal because they've played without him for so long. But you I can, can tell you his value. If you're, if you're able to not play at Arsenal for this long, step in and then take over the captain's badge, that means something. Okay, I know the, Ar- the Arsenal captaincy has been flimsy <clears throat> since Patrick Vieira has left, but still, it's usually the guys who are playing at that peak level that get the captaincy. So this should let you know all everything you need to know. As far as England and their national team, you need to consider bringing Jack Wilshere to the World Cup. Granted, he stays healthy because there's no other English midfielder like him. He's a very unique player. He's the closest uh, midfielder to a Spanish playing midfielder that yeah. England has. Dele Alli's pretty also, close too. No, you know who's close to? Lalana, except he has been hurt the last couple of seasons. When he was hot, I think last season when mm. you know he was feeding Coutinho and the boys. Mm. But Lallana's he was doing also, well, but he's he, older too. I always, I always used to think Lalana was younger, but he's an older player. But veteran. that's what you might need, you know, you a might. bit of experience. But yeah, I 100% agree with you. you Wilshire might. is a guy as long healthy and he keeps getting minutes. He's a guy they should consider. Dude, the fact that he played a full 90 against Crystal Palace proves his fitness levels because he got injured in the last game. I thought we thought he was going to be out after playing what he played like six games in a row. Yeah. Seventh game injured, came back for this one. I'll I'll be surprised if he stays fit. You get these two signings, you cut the dead weight. Theo Walcott also left Arsenal this January, uh, last week, went to, uh, went Mm. to Everton. Yeah. Yeah. 20 mil. And, And, And the big story for me when this was Nacho Monreal, Goal, two assists. The guy lit up. The th- he he actually got hurt too. Yeah, I mean that that's a bummer because look when he was playing before he came off, Arsenal was high and flying, and because what was it two years ago three years ago we put him in our PFC team of the year for left back. Yeah. Yeah. he's almost he was drinking balling. the fountain of youth right now. He was balling that year, and if when played in his natural position. He can be a difference maker, but um, look, man, that's it for Arsenal. Um, look, we'll see. Whoa, <laughs> we'll see. Huh? We'll see uh, what happens with the transfer saga as far as Aubameyang, Mkhitaryan. But it's all looking well for now for Wenger and the crew. Now, real quick, uh, you you're losing Sanchez. You have Ozil and um, Lacazette staying. You're bringing in Mkhitaryan, who can play the same thing as Ozil. And you might, yeah, potentially. And you're potentially bringing in Aubameyang, who's also a striker, which you already have. You're not bringing in positions that you need to fill. You haven't even answered, asked the question, but I'll answer it. You need to change the shape of the team. I'm with you in that Liverpool brought in a Van Dijk. Okay, Arsenal still needs to bring in their defense. But to keep it short and simple, you have to change the shape. To what, though? A four two one, striker system. Four one three two. Four, no, Lacazette four, no, and four at the back. I think you need four at the back. You have a Lacazette and Aubameyang. Two striker system. Cool. Whatever it may be. Speaking of Sanchez, Arsenal, the drama. Let's talk about the other side of this drama. We're talking Man United uh, visiting Burnley, scraping a one nothing victory. But I'm impressed with the boys, man. You go all the way to to Burnley. Tough place to play. The defense has been incredible this year. Unfortunately, riddled with injuries across the back line. But yet, they still only give up one goal to United in a game that could have easily tied and maybe even stolen a victory. Yeah. Game of four inches right here because... <coughs> oh, sounds like your favorite game. Got him. Destroyed. That was a distraction. Oh, my God. It's been, you a while. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. Set yourself up there. Uh, I'm going to go jump off and clip. There you go. Uh, the four inch man, take it away. With uh, United <laughs> getting the... <laughs> I can't even come. Get, get the goal off the crossbar, but then Burnley in the uh, the post as well. But it's going out. Of, so look, it's a game of four inches. If um, Man United, <laughs> yes, I can't, it, shut up! I can't do this. No. <laughs> what, <why is> it? <laughs> so well thought out. Great defense. Keep going. Keep going. I can't go now. Defending the club. <laughs> I lost you know, train of thought. I'll, I'll give credit to Sh- I'll give credit to Sean Dyke. 
um, this guy is proving it. We beat it. We beat it to death. You know, the fact that he, uh, his quality as a manager, especially against the big dogs, his, his structure, his organization. And I'll give the other credit to United for making Burnley look like, you know, the best defensive team in the league. They're not far off that that mark. But just, I've never seen, I mean, I have seen, but just incredibly sloppy by United this game. Too many too many turnovers, careless giveovers. Paul Pogba was among those. This was uh, classic. He, was, he was also a difference maker in the game. Yeah. But too many, si- too many silly giveaways, man. Win the ball back, give it right back to Burnley time and again, and it was frustrating to watch. That's because of your philosophy. I'm going to put this one on the coach. Philosophy? Man. Yeah, your philosophy. You score and you Mine retreat. Mine or, or Jose's? Jose's. I said I'm going to put it on the coach, man. Like, you guys score and retreat. The difference between City and Liverpool, you score and then you smell blood. And they keep going for more goals. But dude, we didn't score to the 54th United, minute. Man you know? United still needs to develop that, though. But, in, in, but by as soon as you did, yeah. around the 70th minute, Burnley you guys started were pressing. Right. Well, that's why, exactly. Fellaini, that's why Fellaini came on. I know. That's, that's How about the last five point. minutes? The last shouldn't. five minutes. Oh, my goodness. That's what, that's it's just a mental thing where you agree don't with smell Tom. blood when you score goals. You score goals and you retreat. And 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 it's and it sucks because the United defense is good enough to, to retreat. So it keeps you know strengthening that, that mindset of let's score... Yep. We know we're going to get a clean sheet, most likely. We have the world's best goalie who's going to bail us out. Until you play against quality. Let's retreat and counter. Uh, but this is with why you quality, the Champions League. Look, but with quality, I think I think it's different because the players play up. So the counter becomes even more effective. And that club's not used to playing this counter-attack system, the Jose Mourinho system. I mean, he's beaten Barcelona on, on this system. He's beaten uh, Real Madrid at this but, system. But because the level of talent that Agreed. he had was superior to this current Manchester United But you watch, you watch that game against Man City, right? Mm-hmm. If Paul Pogba is playing, do you think we lose 2-1? Probably no, I not. Think, no, no, I think... And Man City's there, a Champions League level tie, team. But I also do think that you potentially could lose, yes. Yeah, so so my point is, Jose Mourinho's got this tactic so locked that to write him off in the Champions League... Look, I don't think we have the offensive caliber to win in the Champions League, but I think we could easily stumble and get lucky and get into the semis. I, look at, look at, look at the, the, the Inter Milan caliber. blueprint. The Inter Milan blueprint, uh, 2010 Champions League triumph by Jose. Not yeah. the best squad, an aging squad, experienced squad... I mean, we don't have that experience at United yet, but I mean, they, but they won that. They won those games. That squad was stacked. Even even Jose's first win in the Premier League, his first title, they had twenty five clean sheets. It was a record. Twenty five clean sheets in thirty eight games. You know, it's it's what he excels at. The twi- they're twist tops. Oh, he's, oh, he's definitely um, he's definitely a defensive coach, Jose Mourinho. We know that. Um, but look, man, I just think it's a matter of philosophy when it comes to Manchester United. 100%. You can keep maintaining these clean sheets. That works. Well, once you step up against a superior opponent, you're gonna and have trouble because, because you don't have the current quality but that an Inter Milan had. Here's the other thing, though. Did. Now with this new transfer of Lexi Sanchez going over, I think he's the the closest replica of Eden Hazard that United now have. Well, for will counter attacks, so yeah. for the wild card with with Alexi Sanchez with on that work with rate. the speed with the work rate. United is not just gonna they're not gonna really change their philosophies it's just going to be enhanced it's now, yeah now that counterattack system is really gonna be dangerous because you have an Eden Hazard you know in Jose's mind he's got an Eden Hazard he's got an Alexi on the Sanchez counter. y'all gotta stop this respect. no no what I'm Put saying is no, no 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 dude you're missing the point the point is we're talking about his Chelsea blueprint when okay. he had Hazard that fast break guy he always has one wizard on the wing and obviously Martial is being you know he's slowly trying to groom him into that Rashford, Rashford as well <laughs> Lingard is more of a wizard down the middle. So, with Alexi, he's going to have that outlet. You so, know? then, is the EPL a conclusion then? Is it a foregone conclusion? Has Manchester City won the it's league? It's a top two race. And I say race in quotes because Man City is still, what, like 12 points ahead? 12 yeah. points. I don't think they're going to so, drop enough for United's catch. Even if I don't United, think so. Even if United win every single game for the rest of the season, I don't think City are going to lose that many. See, yeah. I agree. City, I agree City still needs conclusion. to play the big boys, too. That's I agree the with thing. the conclusion that City will win, but... They're gonna be sweating. I don't think they're gonna run away with it like everyone. And I thought this. I thought this about two weeks back. But I think that the Liverpool loss has not psychologically broken them, but they've realized that they're human. And more importantly, everyone else in the league has. When you lined up against Manchester City this year in the tunnel, it was like playing the Invincibles. You were like, oh my god, these guys are amazing. You looked are up they at human? them, like, yeah, these guys are unstoppable. Now everyone knows they can be beat. So and I think th- th- there's going to be more pressure on them to deliver. This Alexi Sanchez does not change the league. It changes Champions League. And I'm not saying they're going to get to the finals, but now United have a chance to maybe yeah, you got, look, get to the semis. Look, Pogba's Pro- main... Probably not, but you know, no. 
Pogba's main killer play, right? He plays that left center mid position, cuts and switches to the other side. We've seen him do it. Actually, he does it from all center mid positions. Really, switches does, yeah. to Martial, switches to <coughs> Rashford if he's on the other side. That switch is on. You get a guy as quick as Alexi Sanchez who loves, loves getting forward, will make the correct runs, make the correct decisions every time. Fantastic touch. Can take you one on one or can play an assist. That Those two, I think, change United. As far as the <coughs> Premier League, like Huss is saying, I agree. We got all we can do is hope. You're in that situation where, you know, it's like the World you're Cup where you're like, oh, I hope out of your hands. Yeah. Exactly. Out of your but hands. with Alexi Sanchez, it means <clears throat> second place now could be locked down. If, that, we, if we if we never lose a game for the rest of the season, we continue to win with a few draws along the way. That's, that's, a, a, that's a fine season. season. I'll take yeah. second from where we've been in the last three, four years. Absolutely. A Ow. comfortable second place finish to the Man City team that's a freak. <laughs> And so this is not normal. I mean, Man City, I don't think, is coming back this fiery uh, next year. I think they'll still be dominant, and I think they'll be quiet. <clears> maybe well, not even quiet. Well, loud the favorites, levels, you know. But it's it's the sneak attack they had, man. People did not expect them to be this I, good. I do agree with you on locking down uh, the second place. Yeah, that's because, the call. Because, look, United, look, they gave back to the winning ways, but there was a while over the winter uh, uh-huh. schedule where they started dropping points. Now, if Liverpool win on Monday, you're looking at Chelsea and Liverpool Three points behind United, uh-huh. and not behind, only that, keyword look, behind. But the big thing for me with Alexis Sanchez, not even about the um, the counter attack, Pogba, the way he can hit the ball, yeah, distance. Now you have not look. Martial is well, uh, very good, but I think Alexis Sanchez is an upgrade. You put him on that left wing. You have Pogba just hand the ball wide to him, one on one, boom. He's I'm going hearing, straight to goal. You know, I'm hearing some. I'm hearing a lot of. Uh, I literally just. Is there, is there an echo in here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you don't know that. No, no, I'm telling it. you, I disagreed with oh. all. The, I said at the beginning, I'm agreeing with you with all the. All right, then I wasn't listening. Okay. <laughs> all right, man. It's a game of four inches. As Sorry, long as you remember. So, so with Sanchez, with, with, with Sanchez <laughs> potentially coming, with Sanchez potentially coming in, we have two young guns in in uh, Marcus Rashford. Thank you, Martial. Also, Juan Mata. The experienced man um, on in the squad who plays in the outside position, someone's got it. Someone's got to give. I know we're we're in. A, we're in a, I mean, we're not in the League Cup anymore. Still got the FA Cup, Champions League, league to fight for. Three competitions that require rotation, big squads. But someone's gonna lose out in this matter. Is someone gone in the summertime? Out the door. I don't think so. I hope, I hope they keep everybody. Because, nah, look, Martial and Rashford are the future. Alexis Sanchez, I think right now, is a short-term solution. It's what Jose loves. You know, the guys oh, yeah. who are peaking right Dude's now. He's getting mercenary. 450,000 a week reportedly. Allegedly. Reportedly. That's the price. That's the price you got to oh pay. But the difference, you the, the, no, no, the difference is more. they saved on the transfer fee. So it would Don't have, forget sign on bonuses. They might be signing we'll see what the contract is. Yeah. Four fifty a week to become the highest paid player well, in the Prem. Well, no, well I've read been. reports that's going to be four hundred thousand, and now Pogba wants to double his wages, which is at two. He already says he wants to double the wages. Oh. Reports are saying he should. He's a franchise but player. But, but money. Th- this is this real quick. This is real. real uh, you brought this up uh, a week, uh, like a month back or something. You said. I was saying that Arsenal need to pay him the money. You said you don't want to go down that slippery slope of paying him, then paying that guy, paying that guy, no, paying I that do. guy. Yeah. I want to. Oh, I thought you said you didn't want to because then it'd be opening up a can of worms if everyone needs the money. Go now, on. did go United on. get into a situation where now he has money, now Pogba wants money, now Pogba's uh, going to want you know money. What? You know, when, only, you, when you got it and you're willing to pay it, it don't matter, baby. The only it people, yeah. the only people who can come out and say, oh, Sanchez is getting a deal, I need a deal, two guys. Pogba, De Gea. De Gea. And De Gea is in care his of. first season. He has no leverage. He has no yeah. leverage. If he finishes top scorer this season, in the summer <clears> he might make <throat> some noise. Valencia? Valencia's, Valencia's a right a back. Fuck, dude. Yeah. He's a right back. Yeah, no, no, I'm not saying and that's a money, but that's not Valencia's, like, he's if, not, his it's personality. not him. Yeah, he's it's not his soldier. personality. His, his agent made the man there, but he might even be like, look, be easy. Yeah, man, he doesn't, look, if, if he does, I, I think he, he, I wouldn't blame him if he wanted more money. I love that guy. I think we should pay him whatever he wants. But, but to what Tom's is he, point, 32, I don't think. 31 now? Yeah, we're talking about finding replacements yeah, for him. No, so no, no. He, He's not in a position of leverage, like you said. Yeah, the only two guys, man. The rest of them, sit down, dude. Or what about even Lingard? players coming in, though? Look, players coming in, it depends who's coming yeah, in. If but if you're, if you're better in. or if you're below, then you get below four. Yeah, everyone knows. You know? Everyone knows if Griezmann, like you're saying. The only ahead. clubs who need to be concerned about wage structure are Arsenal, Liverpool, and um, Tottenham, Tottenham Hotspur yeah. in, the, in the top six. Chelsea, Man United, Man City, all good with wage structure. They don't give a fuck about wage structure. If you deserve it, you're going to get it. 
Yeah. Harry Kane on a hundred thousand a week? That's ridiculous. He yeah. should be getting paid triple that. You know what I mean? So just, just for starters, those guys are in yeah. danger. Like Liverpool as well. Those guys are in danger. But we'll see as it goes on, man, with the weight structure thing. Hopefully they'll break it to make it a e- more even playing ground. Um, but until then, Liverpool, Spurs, and Arsenal are gonna need to find targets where they can accommodate the wage the of the with world. the value. Yeah. As of uh, as of January. Uh, looks like Tom Murray to offer Kane new contract worth two hundred thousand a week, Whoa. which is still which is still nothing. Dude, remember, <laughs> remember, remember, remember the joke. Uh, remember which the is still article. Nothing. Remember Not the article we read about. Um, That's all they can afford, though. You know, they don't have the money. But the new stadium and everything coming next season. Remember the article we read about Walker? How he joked. Uh, with Rose that his tax bill is oh. higher than Rose's wages. That's a, yeah. it, that's the wage structure mm-hmm. shit. Like you go to Man City, your tax bill is higher than the your previous club's wages. Like it's it's insane, dude. But I mean that's also another thing where Harry Kane, one of the best strikers in the world, uh it just comparing sports, I said this uh, maybe to you where it's like MLB and Basketball. Um, yeah, NBA. These guys are getting twenty, thirty million and a Harry year. Kane at two hundred thousand pounds, was it like 14, 15 million dollars. You have to use endorsement money. And, like, that's yeah. crazy to think that he's one of the best in the world and Con- he's getting like Dude. 10, 15 so million. So considering, yeah, considering, considering every club gets a hundred million dollars too. It's not like, oh, NBA makes more money than EPL. No, dude. Since the TV rights, every club, relegated club, or not relegated, but clubs near the relegation zone get a hundred mil. It's just that there's more players on a football team than there are a no, basketball but, team. But or baseball. Like, uh, yeah, even, even, yeah, all that. Um, but yeah, speaking of um, best strikers, one of the best strikers in the world in the Premier here, League era, um, El Kun, uh, Sergio Aguero, uh, Manchester City against Newcastle. This was to be the bounce back game. Man City just, I guess not not really getting mollywopped. It looked like a mollywopping, but they kind of climbed into the Liverpool. Define mollywop. Um, Huss. Uh, <laughs> 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 this was the first game. On the bounce, uh, Manchester City would win it 2-1. But Aguero making his 200th Manchester City appearance and managing to bag a hat-trick at that. Perfect hat-trick. How special is this guy? That means left foot, right foot, and header. Although the header is suspicious. Oh, it it (laughs) hit two hairs on his head. But yeah. uh, but that kickstart was his eleventh uh, career hat trick for for our for, for Man City. City in all comps yeah in all Same. competitions. Yeah, that first that first goal straight Kevin De Bruyne cross didn't touch his head. I don't know, know why they gave it to Dude, him. Dude, I'm very hair. happy they gave it to him. Even on the I replay, have him captain in yeah. fantasy got, got himself silent. a hat trick. But I can sit here and admit that looked shady as hell. It should have been a De Bruyne Dude, go. No man, it hit his hair. It hit his hair. It it. Just it the whisker but, of his hair. But, but we didn't see the whisker. We didn't see I the did. ball change. Just all about the, the hairstyle. <laughs> Get your hairstyles up, man. Get that pompadour going. <laughs> Get yourself <laughs> That's a goal. That's right, man. All right. So what about the penalty what from, about from Sterling, the man who draws the most penalties in the Prem? Well, Vardy does, but yeah. I see Vardy that. also. <laughs> Vardy, yeah, Vardy and Sterling. Vardy competing. statistically does, but Sterling, like, yeah. He's chasing. He's, up there. He's, he's right there. But, dude, soft. No, the guy was no. the guy hit him on with a, an arm over the shoulder, but then his leg just nah, gave nah, out. But he, he he dragged him, gave him a, like a hip bump, which is legal. The hip bump is legal, but he had his shoulder, pulled him back, made contact with him. Sterling, to his credit, tried to run. Usually Sterling goes down like a shot. Yeah, tries to get around the corner, loses balance, falls. Soft, legit. It was monkey yeah, man. Soft, I don't legit. think. It, look, yeah, exactly. I think. It, you look at the defender. The defender's more to blame. It's clumsy. More than anything, it's clumsy. It's not Sterling going down And it's easily. not reading your scouting. Well, it's also yeah, the louder you yell away. when you fall. You know, you kind of get that. I mean, they all do. Yeah, yeah. You have to. Ah, you have to you know, sell it. <laughs> if you don't sell it, the ref doesn't give it to you. Yeah, dude. That's the other side of the coin. That's why so if, if, he doesn't, yeah. if he doesn't yell, just falls. Is that a penalty? Look, he's far. The ref was far away. No, like, not far away from 12 the, yards, not, 13, yeah. Yeah. If like a tree falls in the forest, then no one's around to hear it. Did it, it doesn't fall? make it sound. Did it fall at all? <laughs> Does it make it yeah. sound? It's the same shit you're asking, Doug. Like, we don't know, man. We really don't know. But what we do know is that you have to do your scout report. Raheem Sterling will try to draw penalties and try once in the area. You. And Monquillo just has to be more disciplined there. He's a center back playing right back, so I feel his pain. Yedlin was introduced into the game. Yo, you did America USA, no hopes, bro. USA! Take that back, because Leroy Sané destroyed you, bro. <laughs> did you see Sané's run? Yeah, dude. He, oh, my with God. With a meg at the end as well. Yo, he was around like four or five Newcastle players. And then on top of that, he doused Yedlin, megs him through. 
Cla- you know this kid's is, got man? an end product. Do you stop shitting on America. Do you, do you walk right. off the field? Can you relax? <laughs> Why'd you get all... Can you relax? You're the one who brought America into it. Bring it U.S. You brought up Yedlin. Because he got megged. <laughs> you should have waited, son. That's some respect for America. All right. Hey, he got beat. End of story. Yedlin, Moving on. America needs to have more respect for itself. Moving on. Fucking <laughs> missing the World Cup. Right? Right? What happened? It down to it. This game... Um, everyone knew that Man City was going to win, I feel like. I was actually surprised that was only 3-1. Uh, Newcastle doing their thing where they get that one goal, kind of like what they did with United, they get that one goal, and then they lose. But well, what about that but, goal? But uh, no, uh, what, 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 what about that The goal? big uh, thing about Murphy. City is the that's reason why number. I say that they're not going to drop points is that even when they're <laughs> losing to Liverpool, they came back, they stayed to, to the philosophy that they have, and they pressured and they scored goals and they made that game interesting. They, fine. They lose. You're saying that they're quivering in the boots. They're thinking, oh, we're human. No, they're, no. They're staying, they're staying to the philosophy, and they get another comfortable win. They're just going to cruise out for the rest of the year and win this league. But look, but look, but look, quivering in their boots. But look at oh, the, sorry, but you said, never uh, said but that. look at the goal they conceded. <laughs> yeah. You know, oh, you said it's time to sweat or something. I thought they will. The goals, yeah, come the end of the season. He yeah. was saying, come, come the last ten games or so. But, I don't see that happening. But the goal they conceded, right, man, City the, J- the Jacob Murphy goal directly through the middle of the field. Ball on the floor, straight up the middle of the pitch. What a City finish. caught with that pants around their ankles. Edison chipped, <coughs> chips, <coughs> chips ahoy. Do that, yeah. but it's just Edison that goal, like a goal. Team. Man City shouldn't be conceding goals like this. Way too yeah. open, way too exposed, and that's Dude. where they're vulnerable. They Dude. are human. You just need to put up with the attack, nullify the attack, and you can win the game. Mm-hmm. Dude, that's all it is. Look, City plays a high, <coughs> high pressure system. What does high that risk, mean? High risk, high reward. That means they leave a lot of space behind them. Liverpool does the same thing, play a very high line. But that's why that those two center backs are so important, and more importantly, your full backs for coverage, is that when that break happens, you have to have guys who are speedy and smart enough to get back and cover space. Because when it's on, it's on. United almost caught him a couple of times. Liverpool did catch him a few times. And Newcastle caught him once, maybe twice. And the one time they did, they were in and scored. So that's the, that's the pep system. If you can figure out how to break that first wave of pressure... You're usually numbers up going in. And the the weird, the odd thing about this goal was it doesn't seem as though the pass was intended for the receiver. Yeah, man. It seemed more like a defensive breakdown and miscommunication um, or just positioning, right? So Otamendi's out or of high. position. Zinchenko looked like he believed Otamendi or, or another Man City player was going to get there first. Again, another inexperienced <clears throat> guy at left back uh, for Manchester City. Um, although on the ball, he looks like he fits. But... The, the goal just it came as a defensive breakdown whether through yeah. positioning great finish by Murphy great composure to dribble in on the goalie and chip him like that so I agree with you if you study the system the amount of space they leave him behind they will be it's exposed because they try to shrink the field yeah but this like look Zinchenko I was impressed with the kid on the ball man but again that that fullback position is a nuanced position if you haven't been playing there for years there's certain things angles, angles yeah. anticipation yeah, they'll spin on right back there and again, you he's know? jammed him in there. I think Pep, look, look he sold. I, I don't think he should have sold Clichy no, or Kolarov. No, he should have no. kept one dude, of those Why would you get rid of Kolarov? One Center of those back, left people. back. Are you kidding me? Love look, that player. He, I love that Pep, dude. Robot. I'll, Pep got unlucky, man, with the injuries. Um, he's cocky. He had one man. left back. He had one true left back. Mendy. Look, that he underprepared Benji. for. Benji, you know who's coming in this summer at left back? Very simple. A guy Who? I've been touting. Patrice Evra. No. Who? Bertrand. You even had that that moment with him after the game. Remember that passionate moment where he was like shaking yeah. and everyone no, thought it was no, negative. No, no, that wasn't Bertrand. Who was that it? Was that, was Redman. Oh, that was Redmond. That was Redmond. Sorry. The Dark fuck Redman. you talking about, man? <laughs> Get out. Either way. Can't you just Get say out. Pep is wrong? Either. No, I can, dude. Zinchenko struggles at left back. He he needs to fill that position. But I so think did, did Pep underprepare f- at the left back position? At the full back position, he prepared. He brought in Danilo, Kyle Walker, Mendy. Yes. Look, Look, like I got rid of Clichy and Kolarov. You should got to keep one of those Look, two. Look, those guys didn't fit the system. That's why he got rid of them. Not because they sucked, but they just didn't okay. fit that fast yeah, Kol- system. Kolarov was so all right. So for him, he wanted... Couldn't nah, have purchased them. You could not quick. He's not quick, but he was a backup right. left back. I don't... Look, a I don't, true look, left back. Man City's not going to buy a high-profile left back because no, no, Manny's no. there. They're buying Bertrand. Yeah, I think buy a replacement. Yeah. I'm not sure if they're even going to buy a replacement. Temper, temper, with the money. with what they have. I think he does. And you know what? They might try to go through the youth system, try to bleed in the youth a little bit. I'm fine with that, but get a true left back, not a Fabian Delph. You know what I mean? Not a Zinchenko, who are, cent- who are central midfielders. 
Yeah, for a, for a year, <coughs> I'll yeah. give you that for a year. Just like it's working this year, he could he could for play a like year. eight years. If you come into like next season without a replacement left back, He's the Dude, you're gonna be in trouble, <laughs> Doug. I don't think so, just, man. Just pull out your squad. Just Look, do I the think, right thing. I think he should, but I don't think if they don't get a left back next year, they'll be quote unquote in trouble. I think it'll be just the same as this year, where every game or so, every sorry, four trouble, or five trouble games, is the wrong word. Vulnerable is yeah, the correct word. Absolutely, yeah. vulnerable absolutely. is the correct but word. But it looks like they might be vulnerable at the goalie. Now too, every time Ederson gets scored on, yeah, he gets a little, little shaky. Fumble, did you see yeah, that little fumble, fumble he had, dude. He's making, he's coming out. Dude, he's still shaking he's from the Liverpool game, dude. He's, he's, shell, he's still shot. Sh- no, shell he's shot. Big stage, Not used to dude. Picking the ball up in the back of that big net. stage. Blue's <laughs> coming in for him. If if it's Pep 23, does, though, he if 20, Pep yeah. does go and try to get a high profile left back, no. as much as no, if he does, and it, because I'm a Liverpool fan, I don't want to see it happen. There's a certain play in Germany that he's already been on his team once that might come over. Who? Alba. Left back, uh, look, Bayern. If, if anyone, he's already talked to. I know, like he wants to be a midfielder. Can do it, it's Man City. Yes, throw some Pep, money down. Yeah. If, he got, if you bring over that guy, unnecessary. Well, I'll tell you, man. Come on once now, unnecessary That's next, roughness. Next five years of Man City. I tell you, though, once Man City, if Man City do end up closing the league this year, which they probably will, they win the league. If they can make semifinals in the Champions League, which they might, if they do enough of that. Man, people are going to see that from around the league, around Europe, and, and want to play for Pep. Obviously, they want to play for Pep, but they'll play for Man City because they're legit. They're proper winning league titles and competing among Europe, Europe's elite. Then it gets scary. Yeah, then, they attract, then they attract even more, you know, and even more yeah. uh, the goal for top them, players. The goal for them should be, um, and as we transition, should be what Chelsea should have done in this past summer when they won the league so handedly. They should have brought in the right talent. And it looks like you know, they played, you know, Conte they tried, but apparently that's where the battle was. Well, I think it was, it was battle for players, not necessarily the money. Yeah, Conte wanted X player, but Abramovich wanted Y. Man City has to go out and buy the right players to keep this, you know, the, the win the Premier League momentum going. Well, the, the scary thing for me is that City, they're young. Yeah, that's oh, incredible. Aguero yeah. is one of the older players. <laughs> and then you have Sterling, Jesus, Sané. You have Jesus right after him. So if they do go out and get those the right players like in Alaba, and we're 10 years from now, we might be talking about might Pep. Might be a dynasty. You might be talking Man about City Pep level. taking over Sir Alex Ferguson's. No. Nah. Oh, fuck out of here. The door's I'm, over there. No, no. I'm serious, dude. No. City I'm might sure. go on a goddamn run that we've. But dude, Pep, 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 won't, Pep, won't, Pep guys, won't be there for it no, though. Guys. Pep won't be there for it. You need, you need the same manager to stay there. We and guide that we ship. We here's don't a, know here's that the about only Pep. way Look. that happens. Here's the only way that happens. If Manchester City wins more Champions Leagues under Pep than Fergie, which is possible. Fergie dude, won they only two. Need to win two. Yeah. Fergie won two. So if Pep gets three Champions Leagues and maybe like two if, leagues, I'm, I'm talking about FA league titles too. If Pep stays, that's the thing. Pep won't surpass. Pep won't surpass Fergie in in league cups. League. I'll say that now. No. That's not happening. But if he Look, surpasses them in Champions League, which is three, Tom. which is a lot to ask for, but that legacy, then I might be on board with us. The reason with Pep, man, that it might happen is that Man City started this project in 2011 to get Pep in. 2011, they did a five-year plan. What do we need to get Pep in? They upgraded the youth facilities because they know Pep's a guy who loves youth. That's why all of a sudden guys like Phil Foden are popping out of the Man City youth program. Ball sucking. They have kids. They have a left back. <laughs> You know, uh, a number ten playing at left back under Pep. So that's the <laughs> that was the first system they did. Second of all, they brought in a lot of Pep's uh, background staff. Cheeky machacalacala. They brought in his favorite uh, director of football. So they built this club Tzatziki. for Pep. For Pep, they gave him all the money he wants. They spent two hundred millions on fullbacks. Fair Find enough, me yeah. a club. That will allow the manager to spend two hundred million just on fullbacks. Okay. I, t- I, tell with, you, oh, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you where you won't find that. <coughs> Chelsea Football Club. Nah, Agreed. Nah, they won't. Agreed. <laughs> so with all that, man, you gotta all that's to left, son? all that's left, is can Pep spend the right amount of time to get to those records? If Pep stays there twenty years, Tom, I wouldn't be surprised if they win three Champions League because this guy's a he's a wizard, man. This is a, this is a guy come, who needs sabbaticals. He's he, it's too exactly. burned out. He's Ooh, come that, out and that's, said he, dude, does, I, he does. That's why he, he said wants that to retire. At the end. Certain that's age. the asterisk right there because the greatest thing that a back room, no the, way to moonwalk out. It, you it's too much stress. That's what I said. I know that's what you said, but at the same time, way to moonwalk out. The number one thing that I thought that Fergie was great at, maybe the best at, was that when we saw Chelsea, they won the league, then they finished in tenth. They win the league, 
and now where are they? <clears throat> Fergie, year in, year out, was able to Talk motivate to and able to get those players focused. And now if Pep can do that, which I think That's he can. That's all it takes, yeah. Because you have those professional. You th- you're telling me that Kevin De Bruyne's not going to be focused year in, year out? Yeah, but what, is, He's the, what has his track record? You, you, you're projecting, which is fine, which we can logically do, but what has the track record of Pep Guardiola shown us? That you do burn out eventually. He does burn out eventually. His, no, no. The system is that of a burnout. That high-press system of winning the ball back under four seconds is that of a burnout. One year you're going to be able to do it, but then you're going to get to another year Young where you can't. Players, and not uh, only that, Pep's system requires the best of the best players. Right? Which so he has. Not necessi- which, which not, he- look, not necessarily. At Man City, he proved it, man. These these players became the best under Pep. He didn't go out and buy world-class okay. talent. Okay. So he developed no, these he, guys. He Let's didn't. give him a little credit he, for that. He He's he's one of the best at developing talent. Yeah. Youth talent at that, no doubt. He's the best coach in the world right now, I believe, form-wise and everything. I, I'm still a Jose guy, but Pep, different level. It, yeah. Nonetheless, dude, I still think that his his ability to maintain that ten year period, I don't think he's that type of a coach. I look at the system as well. System is beautiful, but that you those know, pressing type systems, man, guys. Burn you know out what I those. you know what I say to that man? It's your black swan theory. Just because you've never seen him stay, doesn't mean he's not going to stay. Jose, just because you never seen him play youth, doesn't mean he's not going to play youth. Okay. The situation determ- I'm not sitting here saying Pep's going to stay for ten. I'm saying if he stays for ten, this guy and Fergie are going to be in the same room conversing. It's going to be. It's not they should, be, well, they, they, should, they should be. Young. They should be. They already are. No, no. I mean, we're talking I mean, about no, whether no, he will surpass. No, no. I'm talking. I said he's going to surpass. Well, not no, no, saying, no, no, saying, no. I, said, I didn't say. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. We're I didn't say he's. Things, I, you know, I didn't. I said he'd be close to. Dude, because in, in ten years' time, because Fergie was there for how many years? Twenty-five. 20. So I can't expect Pep to do what Fergie did in ten years. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, in ten years, he's going to be contending with records and looking at look, look. Oh, he's ten years in. Maybe he should stay for another five. You don't know what Man City, this team is capable of. Can yes, I'm no, overreacting you don't a little know. bit. No, 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 I'm overreacting nah, no, a little bit working. because look, this is one of the best teams we've ever seen play in England. That's the but scary I'm saying, if thing. They though. keep this going with young players. Yeah, man. They have players here that can play for the next 10, 11 years on this team. That's 100%. what scares me, man. 100%. I've seen a, an awesome uh, Chelsea squad. I've seen a dangerous Liverpool squad. Dangerous uh, Arsenal squad. This is different. We're witnessing something Dude, very I'm different, this and who knows? I think we're, we're gassing it up because we're caught in the moment right now. What I'm saying is this man had Messi and Javi and Iniesta, and he did, what, he won eight trophies, which is Tell absolutely me, amazing. They, he couldn't sustain it with those guys. He went to Bayern Munich. He couldn't sustain no, it with it those guys. I don't think... I, Dude, don't I don't think, think it's sustainership. Oh, I think it's his first. Oh, all I'm saying is he will not be able to sustain it for as Tell long me. as you guys are saying. That's my conclusion. You yeah. guys think he will. You guys think it's scary. I'm saying we're caught in the moment. Relax. This is not going to last for 10 years with Pep. It'll last there'll for three. be ups and downs. Trust of me. Of course there'll be ups and, and downs. And he this won't. Barca. And, and, and Unless he'll, he'll burn out. Maybe he'll burn out. Barca was also his first club. How many clubs did Ferguson have before he got to United? So obviously he wants to try the world, see the world. Who, Aberdeen? Aberdeen. He, and he beat Real Madrid. And so I, thought he, I thought he started uh, Europe, somewhere else, got the job at Aberdeen. I have to reread his book. But I think he had like two two or three clubs, like small clubs. Aberdeen was where he made his bread and butter. Then he went to United, almost got fired, and like so the rest either, of his history. Either way, Pep yeah. was a high-level player. Like he played at Barcelona. So even that transition mentally he may have been around. easier for a Pep than a Fergie who had to really buy the time. Yeah. He wasn't. So you should say the same thing play. about Fergie. Uh, you know I mean? Zidane as well. Hundred percent about Zidane. Right, well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. That's I'll why he got the job. I'll tell you who's not going to last. And no, it's not the four inch man sitting across from me. Damn, he's four inches. I don't even wait to say that one. Better last. Probably about ten. Probably about ten seconds. Yeah, right. But I'm talking about Antonio Conte over at Chelsea. With with the the transfer policy, we touched on it. Roman's in, Roman Abramovich is in control of it. The club's in control. The coach has no say, which is which. It goes back decades, you know, over a decade, to when Abramovich first got the club. We talk about Kevin De Bruyne, Lukaku not staying. It wasn't really Jose's call because he doesn't really have a lot of control over that. I kind of. It's it's mainly Roman. He sees money. If we sell, we sell. He sees money. If we if we keep and then sell, he does that. Dude, Jose's quote. I'm saying that's about that's K D B saying that he was crying like every day about not playing. So like. I, like we had to let him go, like this. So and Jose, I, I'm Jose played Jose a role. Has I'm some just saying, culpability. but the transfer policy is really coming down on context. Okay. He wanted players, didn't get his players. Okay. Still in January, not getting players. There's talks about fucking Peter Crouch 
going nah, to Chelsea. Guys, guys. Andy Carroll guys, going, time going out. to Chelsea. So I think I think that's victim of trolling. So Conti was asked about Carroll in the pre-match conference uh, to the Brighton game, and we're we're sort of jumping into the Chelsea four Brighton get uh, Brighton zero game. Asked about Andy Carroll. Guess what his response was? Who? Andy Carroll. Conti asked about Andy Carroll in the press I, I conference. <laughs> he laughed. So I don't think these. I don't think the Peter Crouch and uh, Andy Carroll rumors are linked. I think we all remember Didier Drogba and how Chelsea played with that tall guy up top. And I think reporters out there, sneaky reporters, looking for clickbait, are just throwing out tall guys. The one I might give credit to, and I don't even know if I can, is Jeko, only because of his ability. He's the only one whose ability I can see going to a club. At the he's s- he's the on fire at Roma too. Else? He's rediscovered his form at Roma. Olivia, Olivia, Olivia. Look, It'd Olivia nice. wouldn't be Ooh. Olivia wouldn't be bad. Seamless. The problem with Olivia is that is he gonna make other teams afraid? And that's what Chelsea needs at that number nine if position right now. If he's now. scoring goals, yes. <sighs> if he's scoring goals, and we look, man, he's like he might be like the closest thing to clinical. That's not clinical, Giroud. Like you know what I mean? No, man. He, I would dude. rather I would rather give Giroud a run at West Ham. Let's see when you get ninety in and out, day in, day out. At Chelsea, he's gonna be on some Marata split yeah, time. You're, you're a role player, but you're the veteran. So we're entrusting you. I think he's better. Th- I, I think he's better than being a veteran yet. United, he's not a, then. No, that's <laughs> why I said West Ham. Let's go get him ninety minutes somewhere. He nah, can't man. go he, from he fits bench in that, to bench. There's no doubt though that he fits in that mold, right? That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying playing time. That you're right because at Chelsea, look, no one's guaranteed. Look, as far as time, receiving but, the ball, laying it off, he fits. Is he going to get Chelsea 20 goals for the next three seasons? Has he played with quality players surrounded? I don't know. He shots fired. Because when like, we see him for like France, shots fired. when we see him for France, man's legit. Dude, when he plays for Arsenal, he comes in in the 80th minute. He'll get two goals. And he has less quality around when him. When he at starts Arsenal. the next he's game, he, he does scored nothing. scorpion kicks. You know, well, that's because he's fresh and the defense tired. Um. I'm kidding. Look, I, I, I meant that about Giroud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was I was kind of fucking around. When it comes down to but Chelsea, I can't, and Con- I can't get that fucking Conte, Conte so about transfer market and everything. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah. And transfer the whole market. transfers. I don't know who he wants to bring in because he has the pieces right now. I think he needs more depth because, look, he has Fabregas. He has Conte. Bakayoko, he hasn't been as good as everyone thought he was going to be. Morata's a little hurt, so yes. But Shuai, he seems to be out He's because out. he doesn't like him. He's out. But then... Just use Pedro and William. You know what else, dude? He I did think this uh, game. exactly. And then he after did the game, game, Eden Hazard is um, doing that like one of those mock um, interviews with William. They get the mic. They're talking like, "Oh, how do you like to play? Oh, I like to play. Oh, we, it's pretty easy playing with you, yeah, yeah, <coughs> Con- uh, Antonio." <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're like doing a little comment. And they laugh about it, but it's true. If William plays, they're better. Uh, when they struggled, dude. when they finished in that 10th place year, they could have been in the relegation zone if Willian did not just catch fire that first six months. Dude, the, right. the four months, rather. The problem right. with Conte, right. I think the three four three system works for him for the most part. But when teams game plan him for that, he struggles. So I think if he can, first of all, be a little bit more fluid with his system, then he can play Pedro, Willian, and Hazard in every game because you're not too worried about... Oh, it, does that mean Willian has to come all the way back? Does that mean uh, Pedro can't cut inside? If you give those front three fluidity and everyone else behind them, the rigid formation, whether you're playing a 4-4, four, four, whatever, 4-3-3 three, three, or 4-2-3-1, three, uh, I think Dude. Conti's lack of like tactical changes is keeping guys like Pedro and Willian off the bench because he's thinking, I want to overload the center mid, so I'm going to play with Conti, Fabregas, and Bakayako. See, I don't think it's... doesn't make sense. I don't, I don't think it's lack of tactical changes. I think it's too much. I think it's overthinking it. Look, he started out... This team is champions, right? So I think where Antonio Conti's guilty is his lack of belief in his players, in certain players. I've been on board about Bashwai. Okay, we may differ over that on this on this panel right here, but if you win the league playing Pedro, William Hazard, and okay, Diego Costa, but your new Diego Costa's Morata, stick with it. He tried at the beginning of the season, didn't go his way, <clears throat> then he just completely abandoned ship, 3-5-2, 3-5-1-1. Let's try all these different things. Go back to your bread and butter, what won you the championship? This is the same thing I've accused Arsene Wenger of, not replicating your success. Look back on your success, what can we do different? We have new players in now, obviously, but... Replicate your success, man. Put but, those guys back in the last that, year. I'll jump on to that because when Conti came in and Chelsea started winning, we said that he, his formation, his strategy, his 
tactics actually changed England because he was the first <laughs> yeah. one to not so much Absolutely. really implement wing back, but like he was the first three. Yeah, he had the three, Alonso, three, he's a three, he had five, Moses, two, Moses three, and Alonso on the outside, yep. and we hadn't seen that for a full year. Uh, I, I don't. I can't remember I when remember a team. Not, has dude, we rarely, four, we four, rarely three. see a three four three three five two. We rarely it's see a three video center game backs. Formation. Yeah, we rarely three, see four, three. three center backs mm-hmm. unless you're in Italy. That's bread and butter in Italy. Sometimes they even play with a sweeper. And even then, so it's hectic. three five two. Yeah. Or three five one one. A three four three is different. You're leaving two central midfielders in there. It's you're a basically lot more saying attacking. your wingers. Yeah, your wingers don't come all the way back. Mm-hmm. We have full back who's going to play two positions. Mm-hmm. Full back and. You know, it's a uh, five, wide two, midfielder. Three, essentially, it's a yeah. five-two. Three, no, it's brilliant. Which it's is absolutely it's brilliant. brilliant. But, but getting, g- but getting back into the game itself, uh, briefly, this looked like the Chelsea dominance that we've, we've known. Like the Arsenal game, they, 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 they scored four goals. Chelsea again scored four goals, but the goals they scored: Willian's goal, heel flicks, one-touch passing, beautiful stuff. You know, beautiful style of play in amongst this whole Jose Conte. You know. Uh, War, war of words going on. He's unhappy. He's leaving. Again, a, a club in somewhat of turmoil comes out and has an incredible game and wins 4 nothing. And Eden Hazard questions over whether he's back. He now has eight goals and two uh, two assists in the league alone. And uh, he just scored his... Now, now he officially has over 100 career league goals uh, in his career. So this guy, in that first goal he took, man, missile. Yeah, yeah you're right. Look, cre- credit for a good goal, but here's why I won't get too hyped about Arsenal and Chelsea. They both played shambolic teams, okay? Crystal Palace sitting in 13th place. Brighton sitting in 16th Don't place. Don't be talking so, shit about the Eagles look, and my fucking presence. I'm just, I'm just saying, bro, you know, the, those goals against, you guys are hurting in that with 37. Brighton hurting as well with 33 goals against. So... Consider the competition is all I'm saying. Absolutely. Yes, uh, you absolutely. have to. You I have don't to want Palace. You have to. I do. Palace has beat, what, they beat like, Chelsea this year. Almost it, beat City. Should have beat City. It's zero, zero. zero. Still, 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 to Tom's point, it's, it's overachieving. Consider, yeah, yeah. consider the competition. Yeah. You did what you were supposed to do against yeah, guys like TCB. this. True. Which is good. But let's not get too look, hyped. Here I'm, I'm not getting hyped. I'm just saying, man, like they could struggle against Brighton Hove away. For this game. You shouldn't. I they think, shouldn't, I think they... the takeaway, the reason why we're quote unquote overhyping it is because if you watch the game the way they played, and yeah. this was for me was reminiscent of when they played Champions League against Roma and uh, Carabag as well. When Willian and uh, Willian and Hazard <laughs> <laughs> when Willian and Hazard um, did the post game interview Hus, uh, for that game, I remember watching it. They oh, were flirty as hell. Dude. They were laughing, goofing. giggling. All that stuff. So to hear that they did it again for this game, Conti, dude, enough overthinking, like Tom said. Play these t- first we'll two names. The dance, first bro. three names we'll on your got team you to sheet. The dance. T- Courtois, Hazard, Willian. Then you figure out the well, rest. Conte. You know what? Oh, Conte, not, actually. Conte. Too. Has, he, not even with the tactics or anything. Who's missing from that? Look, no, 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 no. Forget, forget Pedro. When you ha- see Eden Hazard and Willian joking around, who's missing there? Morata. Who was there last year? Who was joking around with that? Pedro. Diego Costa. Diego Costa. Uh, yeah. Diego Costa and <laughs> Matic. Both those guys out has changed his team. If you have those Absolutely. two guys in, yeah, we, we might be looking at the second place. Dude, team. you get rid of Matic, so man. Matic was huge. Morata is kind of underwhelming at the moment. Classic Chelsea. They man. need someone with that S and that chest, So it's chest, not about dude. who to bring in. It's who to let go. They just had to do nothing almost. Oh, yeah. No, they sold and they didn't. Re- they they, they get rid of Matic and Diego Costa. You bring in Morata and for Diego and you lose Matic and you bring no one in. And that to 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 Conte's or, defense. Oh, sorry, Danny, Danny drink water. To Conte's Con- defense, that wasn't. Uh, up it, was, to it wasn't his call either. It was either, up to yeah. the, the owner, the board. Abramovich. So Con- that's where Con- the beef started. So huge loss. Chelsea's yep. looking at yep, um, yep, yep. Emerson, left back, left wing back, signing from uh, Roma as well. We obviously mentioned um, Eden Dzeko as well from Roma. So we'll see how their transfer dealings go on. Uh, but to move on to the next game, Southampton won. Tottenham Hotspur. Shit Spurs. Won. I mean, for those of you, Captain Harry Kane, at least he was able to get a goal. But look, man, when I was watching the first half, Southampton should have had three full goals. They were putting in crosses, putting Spurs under pressure, and um, <laughs> that resulted in an own goal by Davison Sanchez, um, which was well deserved, I yeah, think. I agree. Um, it wasn't one of those just against the run of play kind of things. There I agree. Was so much pressure. Michelle Vorm with starting goal. Um, Damn, Michelle. For, for Hugo Yuri. So this was a tough one, man. Not Dude, who got the assist on that Sanchez goal, man? I'm going to toot this guy's horn until he gets signed by James, a top six. James Ward? No, I love Ward Prowse too. But Oriel? 
Who, man? Ryan, dude. Ryan. Goddamn Bertrand. Oh, wow. That's your boy. That's <laughs> your boy now. That's officially Ryan Hussey? He's the most, yeah, he's the most like, effective. Say me. He's the most effective left back outside of the top six. I don't understand how people are missing this. Obviously, Marco clubs, Alonso. The club's with strong left backs, but he's already outside the, the club's with six. strong left backs. Cresswell. Don't need <laughs> Cresswell I, if I he can stay Cresswell. healthy. I love Cresswell yeah, two seasons son. ago. He's been uh, made of glass ever since. When he's healthy, Brilliant, dude. He was even making that. Who's that that Burnley? Who's that Burnley? Do we know Burnley's? Not Bertrand, dude. No, but speaking of speaking of sweet (laughs) left, that's true. Yeah, yeah, you got me. Talking talking sweet left foot with also incredible defensive abilities, work rate, speed. You know, um, because Cresswell, great left foot defensively. eh. Bertrand, man, he's a wall to get by. He's so so uh, so quick, and he can play that quick system of Liverpool. He can play the quick system of Man City. He can walk right in the door. He can attack. He can basically be a left winger all game, and then occasionally drop back and cover when he needs to. Like, I but like do Bertrand. that the whole game though. That's he the big can absolutely. He's learning from the Southampton club, dude. Southampton doesn't really release duds, dude. When you learn from your football at Southampton, it's pure football. You know how to play. Gareth Bale started there as yeah. as a what left back there. What's with the right question back? marks? No, that's, that's uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm Ron back. I'm saying like <laughs> left. <back. laughs> question mark because I wasn't sure if it was left back or right back. No, it was, he was left, left back. Why are you right back? back? Yeah, he's got no uh, right foot. But then he went to Spurs know. and ah, was playing left back him, there yeah. as well. Um, Dude, no, this club is pedigree. If you can pop at Southampton, you have a shot at top six. Doesn't mean you're gonna make it. You get the Ricky Lamberts of the world. Doesn't mean just because you. Uh, played at Southampton, you're going to make Dejan Lovren's. Odds are, you are Lalana, Walcott. Well, uh, Dejan's, Lovren's. You forgot Lo- uh, uh, Lalana. The Walcott. <laughs> <laughs> the Jack Stevens, who got made to look like a fraud against... Yo, uh, he's, 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 dude, he's playing the best center, mid- <laughs> center forward in the world. Get dude. off me, uh, dog. Dude, and he's in, oh, the, in the world. Get off me. Center currently. forward in the world currently. Best number nine. Form. Better than Iguazin. Better than Luis Suarez. Better than Luis. I don't yeah, know. I don't know how I can take him over. I'm a Suarez. Suarez dude. If I'm picking a team for a single, how subjective is this statement, and how or how objective is it? It's uh, absolutely subjective because I would take Luis Suarez. You got some dude, he got up. the most goals He's last year. I, I don't. So you should know when I say Harry Kane's the best number nine in the world currently. All right. I mean it. Dude, he form. scored the most form on people. playing on Tottenham. He scored the most goals in the calendar year 2017 playing for Pre- Tottenham, who doesn't play for any silver. Let's, let's, let's clear this up. Not in a vacuum. No, I agree with you, man. Like his numbers do back it's up. Because he outscored Messi of all fucking people. Dude. Cristiano also yeah, three bro. seasons uh, too. Golden boot. And and he's gonna get the golden boot this year. He's three already, he's already got twenty goals. Yeah. And I don't think Dude, I think Henri was the last one to do that, three in a row. Or maybe uh but Harry Kane, that goal he scored, man, it eyes on the ball the whole time bro but dude he body he bo- like, but dude that's that's the hunger man that's the, yeah, that's the desire. Desire. this guy's hunger. I, I mean at the end of the game he had that chance with his left foot he uh he hooked Stuffed it a little it, bit yeah. yeah he just he dragged it a little cross uh to the right side he goes right across the six i think he had uh, deflected Yeah It got deflected No no it didn't It, it, it didn't? almost did it I almost it, Okay did. my fault Because they were saying He was hoping Well he was hoping To shoot a far post But you, on those shots You usually get lucky Where a defender will tap it in Or someone at the back post Would it help it me In fantasy wise Would help me too man But um, Look this was definitely A disappointment For Spurs um, But Southampton was at home So they were able To hold their own They've lost Virgil van Dijk But they also look good On the ball man On the Dude. ball They look like One of those teams Again that's confident Putting pressure on him. I think I think Jack Stevens is next. I think Jack Stevens is next. Yeah. Like the quiet guy who you watching, you know, like uh, what's his name, uh, like Harry Maguire at Hull. Okay. You could see pieces there. I think Jack Stevens, two three years, someone's gonna not necessarily top six, but maybe an Everton will it's come like in. Sean Stones. Bur- Burnley when they so, lose bro. the guys. He's he's look look to so, be man. bodied by Harry Kane. I've seen Sergio Ramos get bodied by Harry Kane. So for me. That's defensive failure, but I I'm not gonna critique him that much. If he gets bodied by Wilfred Bonney, well, no, he's trying. No, yo, I man, bench, yo, just, bench yeah. presses 500 pounds. I fully <laughs> I fully agree with you. I I, I saw there's pieces there, man. I started watching Stevens last year because when Virgil went down, yep. I picked him up in fantasy actually because I was, was like, I was like, okay, yo, who, what, who's the next what, guy? What does this he's next thing mean? No, he's yeah, no, the he's next. next he's the next to leave Southampton. No, 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 look. He's the next right. talent from Southampton that they can oh. develop and sell for a chunk of money. What about? You know, I mean, I don't Tadich. mean he's next. Uh, Tadic is Tadic too is up and too, down. He's too inconsistent. And he's I think. Yeah, yeah I think Tadic has hit his level. He's class, though. Yeah, he uh, is class. Wrong. I don't think Jack Stevens is next. You don't and see it's it. Not because of this Kane body. I think. I think he's going to be in that discussion of the Michael Keens in a couple of years. Uh, oh, Will Keane? No, it's Michael Keane. 
Um, yeah. And uh, the the Maguire discussions, that kind of level. I'm not sitting here saying he's going to be the best center back. I'm saying for a young player at center me, back, if you don't make keep your eye on what if you're not making top six, you're not next. What about Forrester <laughs> for top Arsenal six at, the, at 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 Southampton? Yes. No, hey, what about yes. Forrester for Arsenal? Because he's when Ar- when back. Czech Czech's going to leave in the next year or two, he's done. Forrester from Southampton go not to Arsenal? Enough. Not, not good enough. enough man. I don't know. You gotta, that's you gotta like, go. I, that's that's, 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 that's clearly Liverpool. No, I, know, right I like there. that dude. Yeah, let's get Forrester. He's, he's big. talking about, he's talking dude, about my boy, dude. I, this, I like this that seven guy. Four, dude, yeah, I love him too, man. Liverpool. But he, he's not an Arsenal He'll go goalie, well with man. Bogdan and Mingale. It's weird to say, but there's no Bogdan. Bogdan. I would hang out with that guy. I wouldn't put him in net. But I'd hang out with him. A bog is like a bog you down. Marshy wet area. He's gonna drag you down. You know, just suck you in. To this wormhole. To this hus hole. He should look into referee. <laughs> <laughs> um, next up. Hey, Lester everybody. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, beep, ooh, beep, slow beep, out. Uh, yeah, beep, beep, boop, beep, 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 <laughs> hussy, four inches. All right. <laughs> 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 As you guys know, this episode of the Podcast FC Show is brought to you by CLNS Media. CLNS Media is a leading digital media outlet and online provider of audio and video content. They feature an online radio and digital media network which features a full seven-day-a-week broadcast schedule with numerous personalities and celebrities from across the world of current events, entertainment, technology, and sports. All right, so this isn't just soccer, not just basketball, not just football. They have ancient Greece, you know, audio files you can, or <laughs> podcasts, well, well, audio files. It's what t- is that, 2004. the 90s? <laughs> it's it's, it's Kazaa, you know, it's LimeWire. <laughs> uh, they have a lot of source, uh, a lot of different kind of um, uh, media you guys can listen to, not just sports, so it's very uh, diverse. And additionally, they both employ full and part-time journalists, commentators, and producers from around the world. Um, so if you're looking to write or, or become a journalist, you can get involved with CLNS. They have lots of outlets for you. Uh, they're based out of Boston, local, local radio company. We're affiliated with them. Um, they have live on-scene reporters at sporting events, so you can get up-to-date, on-the-spot, live coverage of your favorite steams um, as it happens. And teams. What, steams? Steams. steams? You don't know what Steams? <laughs> yeah. That's just his room, man. I'm getting steamy. It's a you know, it's 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 getting hot now. The heat's on. It's wool on the walls. But yeah, if you guys are interested, find out more. Uh, let's go to clnsmedia.com. Go on Facebook. Search CLNS Media. They got a great page there. Um, Twitter, CLNS Media, backslash Twitter, backslash Instagram. Check it out. Twitter. Nick Gelso, represent. Moving on. Leicester 2, Watford 0. Ismar is back, guys. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't yes. think he's... Absolutely. I'm not even just back. He's been back. I think... I think no, this whole... Yeah. This year. Maybe yeah, the yeah, last... Yeah, nah, maybe the last through I would two say months, right? I would, no, oh, yeah, man, man, look, look at his numbers yeah. before the, uh, the yeah, winter yo, break. I'll agree Doing it now. Yes. Man, yeah. man disappeared last year. He did, until he dyed his hair blonde. I think he dyed his hair blonde in, like, November. Mm-hmm. He struggled, dude. Mm-hmm. But since then, he's been... Pressure was off a little bit. He didn't struggle, but he was quiet. No, he I struggled for Mares. There were no goals. There were no assists. Saying. If we're gonna, if he we're was gonna, sure dancing his Kaku feet. Yeah, for going ten goals, no goal. Yeah, he took a same nap. thing with Mares. You win, you know, play of the year, basically. Dude, and I'm forget. I forgot, man. 2015, 2016, when Leicester won the league Best title. The league. You know how many goals he had? How many? Twenty four. In the, in the league. What you, oh, uh, he had seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. So seventeen. Hussey, he just <laughs> looked it up. No, I did. Fuck you. I'm looking at the. I'm looking at the. I'm looking at. I know. Uh, Tom was looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it says Mara's back. No, it, it, it was crazy. I'm now, the Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, he scored 17 goals when they won the league. Six last year. Yeah, dude, um, that's that's low numbers. Too, right? but, but now he's into eight goals this year. Um, but on. it's not just the but goals. It's, it's the it's the style of goals he's scoring. He yeah. had that volley from the right side of the box yep. oh, so last week. Oh, so silk with the ball, man. Um, this goal, he's taking guys on but a you know step what? over, this take it to the left and tuck. Dude. As long as it's end product. Because he was doing that all year, guys. Like, even at the start of the season, Mars was taking people on, beating him. Problem is, there was no assist at the end of that, and there was no goal at the yeah. end of that. But now, like, now he's back. Last yeah. year was all that. Oh, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna stay. All that. All that kind of the dark cloud hanging over you. This is it. And then he didn't do shit. You know, I wasn't in it, but now yeah, hair blonde. I'm to gonna leave. play for that yeah. contract to go somewhere, dude. This guy is a proper problem for anybody on well, any, on any given day. The even real. if he goes to France, even if he oh goes he would to destroy Marseille. France. Fuck, fuck he would destroy. On. Look, he's been linked to Liverpool. I know. Like oh, people don't think he's gonna fit, uh, fit oh, the system. Wingers. That's not yo, I, no, I just it. yo yo. This you guy, don't need him. That was three if notes. you can get him for forty million, this guy. Dude, I think that's a good buy. Why don't you get, get a center get back Malcolm. for 40? Why don't you get Malcolm Ooh. for 40 to 45? From Bordeaux. Invest in him. Mm. 
you, you can get you both have, then. You With have, all this money, have, they can get both then. But I just, nah, I just, get I'm a such, no, no, I'm just such a get a number. Six. They can get him too because we they got, get a, they got hundred fifty million. But I'm such a fan of Mares, the way he's on the ball, the the touch that he has, the c- composure that he has, being able yeah, to shield people off. And they, that's the type of stuff. We're all fans of him. We just. Man, it doesn't fit that Liverpool Everyone, system. No, I he fits he the fit. Liverpool system. It's just too many numbers. Get, get another winger. Great you idea. Need him. You have right. other weaknesses. But in this game, yeah, Le- Lester Watford, 2-0. Dude, the other bigger oh, point oh. of this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Marco Silva, wake up this morning, terrible news, sacked by Watford. Everyone was gassing this dude, Sack too. Oh, dude, he's a great coach. The next guy, the next. I still like the dude. This, uh, yeah, when they came out, like when they came out, they, they talked about it wasn't just the points and the results. It was the fact that um, they think his focus started lacking when a, a, an EPL rival started talking to him, and that is linked to Everton. Now, is his eye truly on Everton? We don't know because Big Sam might stay. He might go. We don't know yet. But at the same time, Marco Silva, I like this dude. It's not the end of him in Premier League, I hope. No. Dude, give Marco Silva Everton money. <laughs> He'll do Dude, walk yeah, 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 another, like, another actual no, 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 moonwalk no, right, right there that I crossed. I hope because, you know, you <laughs> Yo, can go to Spain. No, no. Like he, he's see. going to be a w- top man. When you're losing to Swansea yeah. City at home. That's you know, and no, you, you, I mean, what well, he has right now, dude? He's got fine. He's got a fine team. He's got Tom Cleverly, captain, ex United. He's got he's, yeah. he's got a fine squad, man. Rick Carlson, wild card. Well, that, that's the thing, Rick Carlson. He's been sloppy all through the winter. He he's a, a Brazilian player. He's used to the warmth. I, he and now that's a, that's the biggest bullshit excuse. No, it's not. I, I know it plays. I know it plays. It plays a factor, but it's don't elements, get elements, man. Don't give me the weather's gonna fuck you. Look at Suarez, dude. Look at any of these guys. No, no, Look, there are the certain players. Suarez is the best in the world. We're talking about Rakalsen. There are certain Suarez, players. There are certain players weather. whose environment yeah. doesn't affect him. Angel Di Maria couldn't stand being in England. He sucked Ozil. when he was here. Couldn't. Uh, no, Ozil no, 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 for Ozil for a while. We Ozil's, talked about in no. January. He just disappeared. No. In February. Yeah, I don't know if that's weather. He's I German. Think that's He's just used him. to the weather. No, so. Anyway, man, the yeah, point is, you're Ozil. losing at home two one to Swansea City. You're letting Swansea City score two goals on you. Hey, look, man, we you had wa- we lost two nothing to watch. You letting Huddersfield Jose's. score four? It happens, man. It happens. Tell you what doesn't happen: um, Wayne Rooney scoring goals. Uh, Everton what are you talking versus about, dude? West Brom. I hate Rooney. <laughs> He's top goal scorer for Everton Don't right now. Take it. No, 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 take it. Nah, let's not count. Still PK. class. Sandro Ramirez let's might be going on. We'll not count PKs. Okay, let's let's let's, PK, let's, yeah. let's discount a third of Alan Shearer's yeah. goals then. If we're not yeah. taking on PKs, let's, let's fuck off. PKs. Fuck Good off. Shout. Score score in game, son. If you bought that life. Oh, penalties. Everton are, won. Penalties are after the game. You're right. Yeah, Everton are. won. West How Brom many can we blame on Joey Hart? Um, Hussey, shut up. James McCarthy, man, sad, sad news, dude. We'll start sad, guys, and then we'll we'll end up with a little bit of happy, a little bittersweet for you. Okay. Yeah, James McCarthy getting his leg broken. Rondon was in tears. Yeah, man. It was it, broken in two places, and it was it was it was a it was a it was a UFC kick to the leg. You know what I mean? And kick to the knees. McCarthy it's like his didn't toes. Check it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. His toes got <laughs> stuck <laughs> under the turf, <clears throat> and like Rondon's foot followed through. Like Rondon was going to kick the ball. Kick. Essentially, guys, if you haven't seen this, oh. and you freak and you're not. Queasy, freak accent. That um, definitely to, uh, look it up. Farid. I mean, now, but that one was more 50 50. So, in this one, uh, Rondon was going to shoot the ball. McCarthy was recovering from behind, put his foot as Rondon swung to hit the ball. Rondon swung through his foot. That's why it's more like an MMA kick where it's kicked through, just snapped his like, leg, uh, and like his, his toe got caught in the, in he, the turf. Yeah, so like his. So the toe got stuck and then oh like I couldn't that imagine that sound like it was a forward imagine fracture. the sound of hearing oh, imagine, dude, oh, was, never mind the sound imagine the feeling because Rondon obviously kicking the ball feels resistance and then breaks through resistance <laughs> and looks down and the ball is still sitting there that's so you noise. know you didn't kick the ball yeah and oh, that's so dude gross. immediately the re- uh, the goalkeeper yeah. signals like, there's like come multiple over here, people come over here, like, come over here. yeah that hangs both teams by the way both teams not just one team both teams were like get the hell over here alright now for the sweet portion um, Walcott um, on his Everton debut. Go on, thrusted Gunas. in the fire, son, right away. That's oh, weird. He gets to play? Oh, if only get to play in, in London. And he gets himself an assist on the oh, Merseyside. side. Ah, well, it wasn't. Yeah, in Merseyside, gets himself an assist. So, hey, Theo, man, look, I'm one of those Arsenal fans where I understand in this current juncture at Arsenal, I understand why any player leaves Arsenal. Lexi's, Theo, whatever minutes. it is. Whatever it is, I understand. And um, I'm glad to see him doing work for Everton so far. He's kind of like that Aaron Lennon replacement. I was, to- I was totally thinking right like now. that. I thought he like, Everton is like the perfect club for Theo Walcott. Yeah. And so, hey, man, good on you. Keep, keep doing work, man. 
Keep doing work. Next game, West Ham versus Bournemouth. I thought West Ham was going to win this game. What did you guys think? Uh, I mean, they've yeah, been man, on fire I mean, lately. Look, I predicted, I think, no, I predicted a draw for this one. Only because Bournemouth is coming off the high of playing Arsenal. And they're playing away as well, which motivates you to stay focused. If you're playing home, you can let things slip. You know, you're sleeping in the same bed. But if you're going away, you're in an uncomfortable environment. So you're constantly reminded to focus. So I predicted a draw here. West Ham has been brilliant. I think someone had the stat of they haven't, they've won, they've lost one in the ni- last nine games or so. Yeah. West Ham, um, right? Yeah. Yes. So I'm very happy for Moyes, Since man. Moyes and Adrian started taking over. Yeah. Joey Hart, man. Is this guy going to the World Cup? I mean, he, no, play, he, 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 play, he no. played all through qualifying, you know, for England. Look, if he, he will because you need I know he's going to bring that going up. Dude, you need, to be, you need to be playing. He will because need, there's need, no one else out there. I know you love Butland Pickford and all is coming. those dudes. No, Pick, 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 Pickford's not ready. Coming dude, Pickford's not even close to being ready. Are you kidding me, dude? I, no, he doesn't Pickford. have the height, and he, he can't compensate for I that height yet. Casillas was short. But, dude, I Casillas, Casillas, I'm saying Casillas had the class. I don't think Pickford has that class. He doesn't yeah, have Casillas class, but, bro, he's been dude, one he's of the coming, best goalkeepers. He's coming. I've seen this guy. I know. I like this guy. I'm not saying I don't like him, but I've seen him make mistakes that aren't necessarily height-related. He's a great shot stopper. Which is why he'll keep the ball in the net. So who comes He'll come flat for balls. What's your opinion? Who's the World Cup game English one goalies. who started Fraser who's Forster wearing? come on nah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm kidding I'm kidding I'm kidding I'm kidding I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Dar- no, no, honestly no, the sad, the sad reality is that you either get David James out of retirement or you play Joey Hart <laughs> no 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 Butland Butland's, <laughs> Butland, <laughs> Butland's <laughs> getting smoked over at fucking Stoke guys, City man. Bold, that's because, look at the look at his team Dude, I'm just saying there's no defense in front of him you weren't you're you have shot cross in front of you look I'm telling you right now match one game day one for England Joey Hart has that jersey on. Pickford is second. And if Joey Hart has a flub, Pickford takes yeah, over. Yeah, right away. What about Joey right Hart's going to have it. No? And not because Joey Hart's Injury. better, necessarily. Experience. Same. Nerves. That's the England way. Yeah. Nerves. Coffee paste, yeah, nerves, right. big That's stage. That's a good call. That's a good shout. I don't think he deserves it, but I don't think England has enough talent to knock Joey Hart out. All right. Stoke City versus Huddersfield. 2-0 for Stoke. And this would be Paul Lambeer, um, his debut game. Do you what? mean that? Like, on purpose? Oh, Lambeer. Around? Oh, my yeah. God. Dude, you know what? <laughs> Lame beer. There's a legend, um, Bill Lambeer, who played with the Detroit Pistons. So that's clearly where I'm getting it from. It's Are Lambert. in a house? Yeah. Talking about different sports now? Yeah, I guess so. Um, uh, Paul Lambert. Um, cousins with Ricky Lambert, formerly of Liverpool. Ooh. I mean, actually, I Are they just legit? Made that up. <laughs> I just, oh, I was going to yeah, say. Definitely just made that up. <laughs> it could be. Uh, but Both have look, quality. This was the new manager... Juice. Bounce, yeah. That's what it is, man. That juice. Oh, we got a new manager, a new squad. We have to impress the boss. There's a new direction. Let's Dude, see they, if it lasts. They had it against Man United last week. Um, yep. United TCB, but like they he made was it watching, difficult. Though, right? He was watching. He was watching in the stands, and he comes in now, and they went 2 nothing against a team they should be beating 2 nothing. I'm with you, man. I think having uh, Mark Hughes, I think it was five seasons or so. It's fresh blood everywhere, man. Mm-hmm. Energy Dude, everywhere. Fifty goals against in the league for Stoke City. That's scary. fifty goals against for half a, team a century. That used to be man. unbreakable. Tony Pulis. That was their defensive that. strength. Was their biggest quality. Yeah, but you Mark know. Hughes did do work with Stoke. He sexy, did. sexy Stoke. He did work. Sexy he did. Stoke. He couldn't, yeah, he couldn't get him over the hump. You couldn't and get him over that Leicester hump. And the problem is, once you lose your defense and you're playing that open style, Leicester was Leicester because they had. Uh, What's his name? Morgan and uh, Huth back there. Yeah. I don't think Huth is great, but at that season, he was unbelievable. Savage. Yeah, Absolute savage. Um, all right. Who do we, you have uh, something to say, Huss? I was going to say, with Huddersfield, they've lost their swagger. Uh, they've been linked with um, Subotic uh, from Dortmund. Uh, do, do, Dortmund, yeah. Dortmund. Uh, <laughs> the new team? Dortmund. Sorry. I like but when it came down to it, um, look, everyone knows that Huddersfield manager is like best friend to his best, well, best mate with, um, with, with um, Klopp. I think they need to use that relationship a little bit better. See if they can get some of the youngsters. They could have got uh, Grulich or something like from like one of the young, maybe Kent. They need to get some sort of loan uh, prospects from Liverpool. I think use that. Hey, it's your best buddy. It's your best friend. It's Klopp your best. Is like, hey, my hands are tied, yeah. son. I'm sorry, I got to do it. Is, get, yeah. get Woodburn. Yeah. One of those guys. Get get some cheap options. And uh, oh, so you like the loan up. system. No, 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 no. Buy back. I don't like the loan. As long as they're loaning from Liverpool, it's all I don't like the loan system. I think they should regulate it. The fact of the matter is they haven't, so use it to your advantage. Fair enough. Uh, Speaking of Liverpool, let's talk about them. 
Uh, as we record this, they haven't the played best. yet. They're playing Swansea. They're good. Quick predictions. They're How do you think this one. game's going to go? Who's going to win? So far. If you have a score, throw out a score. Bus, we'll start with you. <laughs> assuming you're the Liverpool fan. Hurry up. This week. What's there to think about? Okay, I got Liverpool 4-0. Well, Liverpool 4-0. Yeah. Well, there you go. That's my prediction. one you got four nothing Liverpool. Yeah, I got clean sheet. Yeah. yeah, they can do it now. Oh, Apparently, they can do okay. the clean sheets this with Virgil back there. I was gonna say four one. Hussey already had it for me, yeah. so there we go. I don't know if he's available, Virgil. Uh, he's been out, Injured. and they don't want to rush him back because they said this is know, not the game he played. He could be hurt. Oh, this could yeah, be. but Wyatt's but then again, Wales. but you know what though? This could I be. take that back. This might be the game this you play him be. because he's used to those tough matchups that uh, Southampton used to have to win, where Liverpool seemed to, you know. Lack that a little bit, but then again, you can say that with because Lovren was there too. So look, this if, is he's, not, this if, is he's, not a, if he's healthy, you should play. If he's not healthy, you don't want to rush. This him. isn't a tough battle. Then again, there are no soft teams in England, no. right? So this is—I don't think it's going to be soft. Shots. But this is a confidence game. I think that's why I think if Virgil is healthy, you put him in, even if he's at eighty percent, eighty-five percent. All right, let's put him in this game. Um, see what he can. Not see what he can do, but just get a little bit Give more cohesive run. with the defense, yeah. and then you'll be good to go. <laughs> I see Liverpool winning this game 3 0. Yeah, I don't have a score. I see Liverpool winning, though. I see Liverpool winning. You're um, asking us for a score, and you come back with, I, I don't said, see a score? I said, if you have a score, throw it out. Uh, I thought you said, you should listen. Who scored? Hey. <laughs> I know I don't listen because I can't learn anymore. In other news, <laughs> in other news. Real Madrid back to winning ways. They smashed Deportivo La Cadonia, 7-1. All time. Cristiano on the score sheet with two. Gareth Bale on the score sheet with two. Luka Modric with a goal. I mean, the league's, the league's too late. Champions League's still a possibility. But uh, it's good to see them scoring goals again. For Zizou's sake, hopefully, you mm-hmm. know, he, they keep him around. This was, um, I mean, Real Madrid had blue balls for the longest. <laughs> yeah, this was an did, ejaculation did. of goals. It was. Okay. Right here. Like it was. That. They just and ejac- released. They just released all the goals <laughs> that they could. Yeah, blow, blow, that, blow that whistle on yourself there. Right? <laughs> ejaculation Come on. of goals. It was. That's, so a, great, was it that's a t-shirt if I've ever seen one, dude. <laughs> Well, that plus is four inches. <laughs> hey, four <laughs> inches and ejaculations of goals. This is a crazy Some episode. Hey, it's cold outside. That's a, that's a good t-shirt. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a good t-shirt. It's not summertime yet. Yeah. For real, though. All right, <laughs> anything else before we get the fudge out of here? Uh, yeah, for sure. Check us out on um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Podcast FC Show, Podcast FC Show Shop dot com. Um, and yeah, you know what? You never know. You might see an ejaculation of goals t shirt up there soon. And uh, <laughs> New England Patriots are going back to the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. with a Brady late, so old. Brady so old. Go, uh, there's a late go ahead uh, touchdown. They win twenty four twenty. TB twelve. The forty year old man. Know. We're a Boston based. Um, I'm sure the CLNS read you guys picked that up, but we're a Boston based podcast, so. Boston sports we're, all about. We're, it. We're, we're doing we're, this show during the game. That's how much yeah, we love this. You know, your your pimp hand is strong, son. I gotta but show you know some what? respect. You know what? Know, he had like Hustle plans it down. with his girl and then I, I, to, like to chill. He was like, "Look, baby, I ain't about that life. I gotta no, go get I, that I, money." I don't, about I don't know if that's how the life. conversation went. No, just let it happen. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Say with your chest. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. It's been real. Catch you next time. Lexi Sanchez. Out of Arsenal. Four inches.